Thank you so much for coming out today. Thanks for having us. Testing all the kids' eyes. It was so much fun. Did you have fun? Yes. Like- and you guys did a few different types of tests with vision on the children. Can you explain to us what were some of the tests you used today? For example, you got the vision charts here. Yeah. What were some of the other things that you were looking at for children that were maybe a bit younger? How did you test their eyes? For children who are usually um, four years or younger, we usually just test them out by matching all the shapes. So like for example, this here, so we can just match the shapes to what they see. We can always do matching with cards. So they can just match whatever letter they see to whatever that is up there. Yeah. And what were some of the tests you used to test um, their 3D depth perception? Mm-hmm. Like how well they can see with both eyes equally? Yeah. So we've got the lens test over Do you there. want to hold that one up and just show us how that looks? Sure. So basically we have a control, so that would be the star. Everyone should be able to see the star. It's just testing whether the child is actually paying attention to the instructions. And then we've got different disparities, which basically tests the level of binocularity that they have. And so if they don't have like binocular vision, which means the two eyes working together. Does that mean that they're more likely to have amblyopia? Yes, exactly. And what else did you use? I saw there's a... So yeah, we have a, um, what we call a color um, blindness test called an yeah. Ishihara. So we use this for younger children as it's um, easier to detect color issues like red and green defects. So as we hold it out, they have different plates. Yeah. So with these different plates, there are different numbers or different shapes. And we basically tell them what numbers or shapes they can see. This one called a rat pool. Yep. So it basically tests how well the convergence of a child is. What we do is um, we get it all the way to the end and then see if one of their eye drifts out or not and if they break convergence, basically. Amazing. Perfect. So it's never too early to get any kid's no, eyes test. You can test at all ages. Yeah. Amazing. Yep. And there you go, guys. Never too early to get kids' eyes tested. So if your children are under the age of eight and have never had their eyes tested, then bring them in to go get their eyes tested because it's the most important time when they're still developing and their visual pathway is still developing. But thank you to the UTS of Optics students for coming today and raising that awareness and helping us test vision. It was so great to have you here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's been so amazing. Thank Thank you. you.